Okay, hi everyone. Sorry about the delay. I practiced, but still it happened. Uh, I'm here to kind of talk about the forest before we get into the trees, the user cases and the many interesting stories people will be sharing in a few minutes. Uh, basically, what I'll talk about are some experiences over the last few years of providing introductions, searching for facts and information and customizing int little intro sessions for colleagues to share background on institutional repositories in our landscape. Next. Next. So the story began in 2017 when at our library, we were in our second year of our repository, an open source repository, and a colleague pulled two of us in to plan a two and a half hour session for liaisons. And the hunt was on. Where are the statistics about IRs? And where do we put those in the presentation? Uh, we ended up in the two and a half hours having three exercises on the world of repositories. One on repositories in general, new happenings, especially uh, technology. And then we looked in breakout groups at various repositories because we had an open source IR and still were at the wish list stage. Next. After that, uh, for about two years, I looped in Lisa Palmer, who's on the committee here, and Dan Kipnis, who joined us today as an attendee. And we went on a journey that led to a JMLA article because we were looking to see what was already out there in this landscape, statistics, studies on repositories. We found a law uh, IR example that we thought was good, but it wasn't the methodology we opted for of actually looking at websites and IRs. So we ended up doing a survey of 21 questions. Next. And in that time period, we also managed while we were analyzing our survey results and preparing for publication to do some slices from our research results at repository conferences. I did one at the Charleston conference. Dan and Lisa did a brief article for a series I was editing in Against the Grain. And an interesting outcome was a compare and contrast with general IRs at the time. Uh, Judy Luther and her team were doing an open survey that was published in Choice, just as we were getting ready for JMLA. So the compare and contrast I poster was at ACRL in 2019. Next. In 2022, I advocated for an intro prior to use cases by four panelists. I did a lot of research, but 10 minutes is 10 minutes. So it was just an overview trying to help health sciences librarians in smaller and hospitals and other scenarios see where they might fit into IRs, where to find information, et cetera. So you're welcome to take a look at the many references and Lisa Palmer helped vet the slides. Next. And back at the shop at Galter, we were migrating. So this year we did a repository in service on our new repository, three hours for all staff. But this time the world had to take kind of a back seat. We just offered some general uh, intro slides and also some good practice reports. But that's how it worked out this year. Next. So here's my uh, challenges and opportunities slide that IRs, the general picture, the forest is evolving constantly. So if you plan to provide an intro, you'll have to update your slides and look at all the many potential sources, organizations who follow this landscape and try to find the granularity you need and the statistics you need. And the opportunity is there for further research. And I quote uh, Dan's and Lisa's and my conclusion in JMLA that there's targets, larger, more diverse groups, more 
research modalities, but I think the forest, the, the world of repository deserves a place as we educate each other. So I put out the challenge to everyone to contribute and join this little effort. Thank you. Thank you, Ramune. That was wonderful.